Nice good panel of wood here, heading it, waiting. Getting the good suction on. And we are set. Cody, uh, uh, in my experience is uh, working as a glazer, uh, I've uh, worked with a lot of cups. Uh, they, they bled through a bit. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the Grabo here. The cool thing about the Grabo here is uh, it's going to be able to uh, suction up to basically anything, uh, most things that you can do, like uh, marble, uh, a lot of brick, wood, glass, right? For instance, uh, this tile here. You wait for a minute, hit the suction, press it again. We are good to go. It gives us a good uh, meter based on how the suction is. Let's go and mess with this uh, the stone bit here. So the stone here, same thing. We just hit it, and we are good. Holding up, solid and strong. This made my uh, life on the job site way easier uh, than your average cup. Every time I hit a cup, I'd be bopping it away, taking like 12 years to to bop it up and get going. Right, this. Easy. Like I said before, uh, like glass and other and other things, uh, and other flat tops. You can do the, do it with this uh, with most wood here. Uh, for instance, uh, this this uh, piece of wood. Nice good panel of wood here. Heading it, waiting. Get the good suction on, and we are set. Good to go. Right. Glass it on. Open back up. Solid. Uh, same thing goes with uh, like stone. Right. You apply the same thing. lifts in the stone. This is a great tool to have, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend it, especially if you're on, on certain job sites where you have really wide uh, bits to uh, hold up. If you really can't hold it up uh, with both ends pretty well. Uh, you can turn a two-man uh, two, two team job into a one-man uh, job uh, pretty easy with this guy. Now, guys, there's a, there's a few things that may not work on. Uh, your typical like concrete bits, notice how they got like little, little grains and like uh, holes in it, right? These are, these are more designed for like water and whatnot to bleed through. So it's gonna be, a, you're gonna have a harder time uh, having this, uh, having suction for something like this. So, I mean, we'll give it a shot regardless, but um, yeah, so given, it, given how porous it is, it's not gonna really fall through. It's not really getting anything out of this, right? So uh, same thing, uh, it may, may work for this, it may not. So no dice, given that the hype, it's really porous, right? So you're not, there's a few things that it might not work with. Um, something like this in the, like, you know, types of concrete with, where it can bleed through, you know, that's more designed for um, landscaping and things like that. Uh, probably not the uh, ideal tool then. It will work with most things, uh, stone, wood, tile, marble, glass, most things. Sometimes concrete's a little porous, uh, something even like for countertops, right? Flat countertop spacing. Uh, glass, totally ideal. Uh, I would highly recommend this for your, your day to day glazer, whether you're being like uh, residential or commercial. Um, it's, uh, it's a good go to for that, uh, that sense because it's, uh, it, it's not going to bleed on you. Uh, and if, even if it does, at least it's got a, uh, a meter to let you know what's going to happen at that point. Highly unlikely, but at least you got a meter to give you a forewarning for it. And at that point, it will. You just press that button again, you're good, right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, find out more on Grabber.com and um, keep up the good work.